This is stock number 21J110. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today we are checking out this brand new 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport with the Willys Edition on it. This vehicle has the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder motor, pumps out 270 horsepower, 290 foot pounds of torque. It's going to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 21 city, and a combined total of 22 miles per gallon. Granite Crystal is the color, PAU is the paint code on it. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And if you'd like to check out all the photos on this Jeep in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. Comes with the Moab black painted alloy rims. You get the little Jeep logo there. And that looks like it's in sting gray. Firestone Destination tires. These are MT2s and they are LT25 75R17s. Definitely a mud terrain tread pattern to them. You get the plastic fenders, the Jeep logo blacked out as well as the trail rated, trail rated logo blacked out get the willies stickers on the hood there you also get the gloss black seven slotted grill with the willies package you get the little jeep logo in the headlights and the gloss black around the fog light bezels you do get fog lights on this of course and then you get the tow hooks in the front You also get the rock rails on this vehicle, which uh, keep your body from getting any damage when you're going over treacherous terrain. We'll take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but uh, some of the main points on here, like it does have the 2 liter, the 8 speed automatic transmission, everything on the left is your standard equipment, including the Park View backup camera, command track, part time four wheel drive system all the skid plates and um, everything else there. Interior features, um, everything's pretty standard there. Exterior features, it does have the, it says that it has the Sunrider soft top, but that has been replaced by the hard top. And then um, everything else is standard there. Optional equipment, the Granite Crystal is a $245 option. The customer preferred package 22K is the Willys addition which gives you those 17 inch moab black aluminum rims the rock rail um rock rails on there deep tint windows anti-spin differential heavy duty four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes the all-weather floor mats and all those gloss black inserts on the front of the bumper and grill eight speed automatic transmissions fifteen hundred dollars and that hard top is a thirteen ninety five dollar option and then that does delete the soft top. So this one is $38,150 um, for an MSRP. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there to get all the rebates and incentives on this Wrangler. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain warranty. There are your fuel economy ratings and then your crash test ratings, four star front crash and three star rollover. There are those all-weather floor mats by Mopar. They're topographical, meaning that they show the different elevations on there, which is pretty cool if you're a geography guy like me. As we come around to the back of the vehicle, do note that it does have those heavy-duty four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes. Really a good-looking Jeep. The uh, granite crystal kind of blends in with that black hardtop and the bumpers and everything. It's in just a slight difference, which is a pretty good look. There's your backup camera. You do get a tow hook back here. Back storage area, plenty of room back here. Those seats do fold down, which I'll show you how that works in a second here. You do get the front hardtop piece case and you do get storage underneath there. You get holders for your door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts there and then underneath is your jack tools. So to get these hard tops off you have three bolts 
on uh, each side. There's two on the top for a total of eight, and then there's two quick disconnects. Make sure you take the front hard top pieces off first and then undo all this stuff back here. And then a hard top comes off pretty easy. Um, do need two people to lift that off because they are kind of heavy. And uh, you get the color match rails back here. You do get the JL badge back here as well with your wheelbase and overall length for the two-door, four-door, and your water fording capabilities. Those doors shut a lot easier than the old JKs. Not a ton of options on this Wrangler, so there's not too much to talk about. Get the manual adjust mirrors. Inside you get the black cloth interior. Driver's seat height adjuster. They do have side airbags now. Standard. You get the all-weather floor mat up front here. Tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Manual crank windows and manual locks on this Jeep. We'll hop inside and take a look at the options in here. Once again, not a ton of options on this Wrangler, but we'll go through everything. You get a compass display up there as well as a digital speedometer and your odometer, of course. Bluetooth capabilities, so you can hook it up to your cell phone. Information center controls right there. And then I think this is a, the urethane steering wheel. Cruise controls on the right. You do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, which is nice. This one has the Uconnect 5-inch touchscreen radio. Um, it's the Uconnect 3 system, so you do get that Bluetooth. And uh, this is also where your backup camera shows up. You have AM, FM controls on here. And that is where your backup camera shows up. And you can see just how nice and crystal clear that picture is. Those are dynamic grid lines, meaning as you turn that steering wheel, those grid lines will turn with you. And then if you put a hitch on here, that center line will line right up with your hitch and the center of the vehicle, which is pretty nice. And you do get AM, FM capabilities on here. Down here you have your climate controls, your start-stop capabilities. You can turn those off if you want. Stability control, and then your speed select crawl control. You do get an AUGS USB and USB-C jack right there. The command track part-time four-wheel drive system here is just the shifter. You can shift that into four-wheel drive, high or low, or two-wheel drive. Or you could put it in neutral. Eight-speed automatic transmission. Get the little Jeep logo on the top there. The red handle release. And then you do get the flipper style key. It is a proximity key, so you have to have it just on you to get pushed by the start button there. But it has the flipper key, which is pretty neat. But it doesn't have any buttons on it because this is a manual lock vehicle. So they still give you the big chunky key fob. I notice that you do get the, it's kind of like a mineral gray painted dash on the sports, which is pretty cool. And then you get the crushed eggshell finish to the headliner or the hard top pieces, I should say. And then you got quick disconnects here, there, there, and here to get that hard top off. And they come off pretty similar to the old JKs. The only thing that they don't have are the screwing pieces right here. They got rid of those because most people didn't keep them in there anyway so there's that we'll take a quick look at that back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around with all the lights on here back seats lots more room in the back here than the JK's you get the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have you get those topographical floor mats back here as well and uh, they're pretty cool these seats do fold down, and you can see just how nice and flat they go. The other nice thing that they've done with the JLs is that they make it so that the headrests can stay down if nobody's sitting back here, so it's better visibility out the back. And you can do that just with that. There's actually two flippers here, one for the backrest, one for just the headrest. So pretty cool stuff, and uh, you get the child safety locks on the back doors there. We'll do one more final walk around here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, 
you will have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks and styling of this Jeep Wrangler Willys Edition in granite crystal pearl. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video on our YouTube channel. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Jeep Wrangler videos like this one on right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom link to this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out. And we are super excited to be offering this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys Sport in granite crystal pearl. Thanks again for checking out the video.